Hi there, Robert here. Hope everyone is safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Easy to grow food at home and it's March. We've got to get ready for April because you want to get some grow buckets out there. We want to get some grow tubes. But first of all, please like and share my videos. It helps the channel quite a lot. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Press that bell icon. Every video that I make, you will be notified. So let's start at grow tubes. Easy to make, very cheap, and you can grow a lot of food. This is a grow tube. It's eight foot long. That's when I purchased it, but when I measured it was only seven foot six. I've got 10 holes in this grow tube. Each end is blocked off with a cap, and it cost me $20. I've got 10 holes. I'm going to put 10 tomato plants or 10 strawberry plants. I'm going to hang it on a wall, and it's going to grow down the wall. So even if you live in an apartment building with a balcony, you can grow it down the balcony. Easy to do. I fill it up with premium soil. And the holes at the bottom are to let the water out. The holes up the side is to stop the soil getting overheated because it's plastic. The heat has to come out. And you don't want it to come out the top of the plant. Let it come out the side. And so all you've got to do is have it watered. That's a grow tube. Cost about, well, this cost me $20. And then we have grow buckets. Here's a simple grow bucket. You can get these for $4 at Home Depot, and they're $4 at Lowe's. I've got blue buckets from Lowe's, Home Depot. And what I do, I use the old soil from last year, and I fill half the bucket. The new soil I buy this year, I put at the top. Some people mix their soil, but I don't. I reuse the old soil, and I put fresh soil at the top. I'm giving all the nutrients into the roots of the plant. It's common sense. If I don't want to make a self-watering bucket, what I do, I make a hole in the bottom, and I fill this up with stone. And I can water it, and I know when I've got enough water, it seeps through the soil and comes out this hole but also it protects the bucket. If it rains heavily, it will soon fill up the bucket and destroy your plants. But it will come through the soil and empty through this bottom hole. That's the idea of it. And you can have as many of these buckets growing whatever you want. This is what I'm doing in March getting ready for April to put the buckets out. Now, I've had a few questions on grow buckets. And we have one here somewhere. There's a grow bucket there. That's one bucket in top of the other bucket. And as we can see, this is a funnel. There's a tube. Now let's explain. Because it's indoors, there's no hole in the bottom of the bucket, I use a measuring stick to measure the height of the water. And I've got a marker. Now, how does this work? So imagine this is the bottom bucket, indoors. No hole. Because I'm watering it myself, measuring the height of the water. And it's all I've got to do is go and get a little tube that I can fill the water into the lower bucket. Because this is going to sit in, and this bucket will go to about here in the bottom bucket. The rest is air and water. You always need a bit of air. And the top bucket, we've got another hole, which is this hole here I've cut out. Inside I put a towel that wicks into the top bucket, the water in the bottom bucket. Inside this bucket, I have landscape fabric to stop the dirt getting on the towel falling into the water. It will still 
wick the water through the soil. And it's exactly the same, half with dirt, half with the new premium soil. And you can grow indoors and outdoors. If you're growing outdoors, you've got to put the hole in to protect it. But what I'm going to do is give you a PDF report on how to make this bucket and how I got started. Because it's time to give back. There's so many people struggling. And if you can start growing tomatoes, you just need 10 tomato plants, you can feed your street. This just cost me a couple of dollars. The whole lot cost me under 20 bucks. In the soil and everything that's here. And I can use this year after year. So each year I'm just buying fresh soil. And I can grow all summer long and feed the street with lettuces and tomatoes. And if you get neighbours helping growing other foods and doing other things, you're going to save a lot of money. That's what I'm doing. Giving back a little bit. I'm growing hydroponically and I'm growing in soil. And you can do the same. It's not rocket science. It's not expensive. And you get more out of it. And it's fun. God bless. All the best. Stay safe. And no matter where you are in this crazy world, look after each other. God bless. And please, like and share those videos. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And don't forget that link I'm going to give you on how I started. Thank you very much. Stay safe.